Hey, what's happening, Nation? It's Joe Q. We are one and four heading into week seven. How the hell did we get to this point? I have no idea personally, but this team has come to a true crossroads and we need to be able to make a decision on what we are going to do moving forward with this fucking team. Because right now there are two very clear paths that this team can travel down. And one of them I'm completely in love with and the other one is going to be a shit show that's going to have us pissed off for the remainder of the season. So that begs the question that we have to ask, does this team just go ahead and say fuck it and start dealing some of these players off and building up some draft capital and grinding through the rest of the season to see what actually happens? Happens, or do we actually buckle down, focus up, get our shit together, and then make this six game push that we are supposed to make? And I am trying to be optimistic about this shit, but you have to look at this in a real light. If I told you right now that the Lions were going to make the playoffs this year, you would look at me like I was fucking crazy. And they're sitting at one and four. And then you look at the Panthers who just fired their fucking head coach. They're sitting at one and five. Both of their seasons are completely over. And I don't want to hear the Raiders have lost so many close games. Look at the fucking Lions schedule. They've lost some heartbreakers too. This shit only matters at the end of the game. Win column or loss column. There is no other fucking stat that matters. And as far as the Panthers go, that team just completely blows across the board. And we are ranked there with them at this current point. We are legitimately the worst team in the AFC right now. I am telling you, if we lose any of our next four games, our season is completely shit. If we end up losing to the Texans, you're going to end up seeing this coaching staff in front office go on a trading spree like you have never seen before. And you can only hope that Josh McDaniels' ass has finally figured out that an offensive line actually fucking matters in football. We got injuries starting to stack up with Renfro. We got Waller out. You end up losing Hobbs to IR. And I don't want to hear, oh, we got Everett back, dude. It's going to be all right. That dude is completely fucking unproved in this season. Then we still have the fucking Adams suspension looming over our heads and the NFL was like, we don't want to take any action until the legal process is over. That's the NFL saying, we're going to wait until we can completely fuck the Raiders over and hand down a suspension when that shit's totally going to hurt them at the worst possible time. I will tell you right now, if the Raiders do end up going on like the six game win streak and then we end up fighting our way back in and then that Chiefs game at the end of the season that's still to be determined when it's going to be played will end up being played in prime time and then four days before that game, the NFL is going to be like, well, this Adam shit's pretty much solved up, so we're going to suspend you for the rest of the fucking season to make sure the Raiders are fucked. And if you don't think that shit is true, you have not been a Raider fan for a very long time. I don't know, Nation. I seriously don't. I've been wrecking my fucking brain trying to figure out exactly what the hell we are going to do. I've seen Farrell's name thrown around. I've seen Abram thrown around. Both those dudes are only going to bring you like a third to fifth round pick at best. The one thing that we do have going for us right now is that the AFC overall kind of sucks. I will do my best to make this as fast as possible. The Bills are the team to beat in the AFC this year. If you cannot beat the Bills, your ass is not going to the Super Bowl. Then you got the Jets sitting at 4-2. and two. The Jets are not a 4-2 and two team. They are going to slip down that ladder incredibly quick. The Dolphins are completely fucked at this point. Then the Patriots are hoping that the Golden Boy can carry that team and that shit is not going to happen. Then in the West, the Chiefs and Chargers are both sitting at 4-2. and two. Even the fucking Broncos are a game up on us. We're going to skip right past that shit. Moving into the North, the Ravens and Bengals are the only two teams that you have to worry about because the Browns and Pittsburgh both suck this season. Then moving into the AFC South, the Colts, the Jags, and the Texans all completely fucking suck. Titans are going to end up winning that division by default and they're going to be washed out of the playoffs in their very first game like always. So by some small fucking miracle, the Raiders still actually have a legitimate shot at being a playoff team this season even though we're 1-4. and four. That shit hasn't been done since the 90s and it was the Packers and that shit's like 30 years ago but maybe this is the step that we have to take but you cannot slip over these next six games you have to be able to stack this shit and prove that you are a true contender and they do it who the fuck knows Carl looks a little bit off, McDaniels looks like shit, and our defense has been saving our ass more than it ever has, and who knows how long that shit's gonna last. Hit me up and let me know your thoughts. I'll be back with my Raw Reaction Sunday, and I am really hoping that I am not incredibly pissed off after that Texans game, because we need this fucking win. If we lose to the Texans, I am literally going to lose my shit. But at this point, only time will tell. Sure to hit me up, let me know your thoughts. If you wouldn't mind clicking that like on your way out, I really would appreciate that. But until Sunday night, I'm Joe Q, and we'll We'll catch y'all on the next one.